Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we got something a little bit different. Uh, I just thought I'd make a video on this because it's <laughs> it's such huge news, and I've been wanting something like this to happen for a long time. Uh, sadly, it's 40k and not fantasy. You know what I'm like, I prefer my fantasy, but this is still awesome. This could lead to some really awesome stuff. Uh, basically, Games Workshop and Frank Spotnitz to create live action Warhammer 40k TV series. There's gonna be a TV show with Warhammer. How awesome is that? That's huge! That is huge news! Um, I mean, it's such a in-depth universe that's been created, so the fact that it's never made its way to sort of TV or cinema is kind of crazy, but, I mean, it's such a high-budget thing to be able to properly portray Warhammer 40,000. I mean, it's it's nonsense. The set design and everything, just... It'd be ludicrously expensive. It could be a hell of a gamble. So I'm glad they've rolled the dice on this. I can't wait to see what this is about. So um, yeah, really, really damn cool this. Really damn cool. So Games Workshop and Big Light Productions announced development of a live action Warhammer 40k TV series, Eisenhorn. So uh, Eisenhorn, um, yeah, popular book series by uh, Dan Abnett. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of Eisenhorn stuff out there. A lot of you may have actually read a ton of these books. Personally, I've never got around to it because like I said, you know, fantasy rather than 40k, but it's all good. So anyway, um, here you can see um, Games uh, Games Workshop and Big Light Productions jointly announced today development of Eisenhorn, a live action science fiction and fantasy television series. Frank Spotnitz, The Man in the High Castle and The X-Files. I mean, these are big shows. These are big shows. So the fact that he's involved, um, it shows there's some commitment, right? Uh, we'll act as both showrunner and executive producer of the series, which will be based on the wildly popular Warhammer 40,000 games, miniatures, and novels. The genre-bending series is set in the Warhammer 40,000 universe, where mankind teeters on the brink of annihilation, where humanity's armies wage unending wars across a million battlefields. In the darkness, a secret conflict rages fought by the agents of the Imperial Inquisition, drawing from sci-fi, fantasy, and crime genres. Eisenhorn will see Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn and his band of investigators fight to thwart the monstrous schemes of aliens, heretics, and demons before mankind's doom is sealed. I mean, the fact it can be demons and aliens. Heretics are easy. That's just like, I don't know, a dude with an extra pair of lips. It's not, that's not a big deal, but to be able to properly portray things like demons and like tyranids or orcs or whatever, like this is, this could be amazing. Uh, I can't wait. Warhammer 40,000 is a worldwide phenomenon with miniatures, tabletop games, video games and novels sold online and in more than 5,000 retail locations around the globe. Warhammer 40,000 has a passionately devoted fan base who revel in the setting's intricate lore and engaging narrative. Visiting Games Workshop's websites more than 100 million times and racking up more than 50 million views on War of Warhammer TV video content last year alone. Games Workshop is the company behind the globally recognized Warhammer 40,000 brand and a household name within geek culture. I resent that. Um, while Big Light Productions is an award-winning international production company whose credits include Amazon's The Man in the High Castle, uh, Medici on Netflix, and Ransom on CBS. The Eisenhorn series is based on novels written by New York Times bestseller author Dan Abnett, Guardians of the Galaxy, X-Men, Horus Heresy. Uh, originally published in um, 2001 by Black Library, Games Workshop's publishing imprint, uh, the books have been reprinted in multiple languages and sold over half a million copies globally. Big Light Productions creative director Emily Feller, Ordinary Lies, Trust Me and Medici will also serve as executive producer on the series. So Frank Spotnitz, series showrunner and Big Light Productions CEO said, We are delighted to collaborate with Games Workshop to develop the beloved visionary world of Warhammer 40,000 into a TV series. Warhammer 40,000 is steeped in rich and complex lore, with a myriad of traditions and stories that have accumulated over time in this thrilling and complex world, making it one of the most exciting properties to adapt for television audiences and the franchise's lo uh, loyal global fan base. There is nothing else like it on television, and we are incredibly excited to tap into our own experience creating imaginative, complex, and compelling worlds to bring this incredible saga to the screen. Andy Smiley, a Games Workshop's global head of marketing and media, said, We're thrilled to be working with Frank and his team at Big Light. Warhammer 40,000 has a massive global fan base. They are a passionate community of Warhammer hobbyists who love to engage with our characters, stories, and games. I'm truly delighted we are able to develop a show that will reward their loyalty. Inquisitor Eisenhorn represents one of the best-loved characters within our worlds, and we're excited to share his exploits and adventures with audiences new and old. Frank and his outstanding team at Big Light have done amazing things with other properties, bringing complex worlds to the screen, and we can't wait to see what our partnership produces for the grim darkness of Warhammer 40,000. Author Dan Abnett said, Gregor Eisenhorn is a relentless force in the dark future of the Warhammer universe, a destroyer of demons and a purger of heretics. Implacable, powerful, and dedicated. 
But the appeal to me, from the moment I started writing him, was his complexity. He is not the simple, ruthless hero he appears to be. His battle with the warp leads him into dark places and forces him to question his duty, his understanding of the Imperium and his own identity. With Eisenhorn, it's not just the adventures, and they are certainly vivid, it's the journey he takes to the very limits of what he is and what it means to be loyal. Oh, I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, and then there's just press stuff. Um, just press stuff for things. That's right. Just, uh, you know, about the different companies. Um, and I guess most people here, you already know about the Warhammer stuff, so let's have a quick look about uh, Big Light here. Founded by Frank Spotnitz in 2013, Big Light Productions is a London and Paris-based independent production company with a diverse slate that includes highly authored short-form pieces and writer's room-driven returning series. Steeped in both the UK and the US approaches to development. Um, Big Light works in whatever is the right way for the writer and the project. That, I really hope is true, because we really want to see, you know, uh, a, a good series, right? If, it, if it's crap, if they make a load of liberties, if they, you know, throw the source material out of a window, then the fans are just going to hate it, and it's not, you know, they're the ones that need to love it, right? All of the Warhammer fans need to be watching this for it to really explode, I think. Um, a lot of people just won't, won't take a chance on it, unless, you know unless it turns into something big, and it'll be the fans that do that. So they can't take any liberties here. They really can't. Um, and believes in putting in the writer's vision at the center of everything they do. Productions include Amazon's Emmy award-winning Man in High Castle, Medici, The Magnificent, and Medici Masters of Florence, for Ryan Netflix, Ransom for CBS, and The Global, uh, and Global, and The Indian Detective for CTV and Netflix. So yeah, this is awesome. This is really cool news. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I mean, there's no details on it yet, really, except it's happening. And it seems there are some good people um, behind it. So I can't wait to see what it's like. Um, so yeah, I thought you guys uh, would enjoy um, hearing this news. And uh, I thought I may as well be the one to deliver it. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And be sure to stick around for more, uh, you know, Warhammer and Total War and strategy games and all that stuff, what I do. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.